Some of the newer research on oral vitamin K seems to be trending towards showing the benefits of these more frequent dosing regimens with the oral drops. Two recent studies published in 2024, one from Japan and one from Italy, looked at weekly dosing regimens and found that they compared more favorably than the three dose regimens. In the United States, where a lot of our listeners are, there is currently no FDA approved oral version of vitamin K for newborns. Parents who are interested in pursuing an oral vitamin K drop option are less left only with supplements for sale in food stores or at compounding pharmacies, and these are not regulated. This means that while whoever is selling the vitamin K drops may say it contains a certain amount of milligrams of vitamin K, there's no independent testing or third-party verification to determine that this is true. We found in doing our research and updating this article that the oral vitamin K option is more common in countries where health systems provide postnatal or postpartum home health visits. So with oral vitamin K drops, there's a couple things you have to consider. The drops have to be given correctly or they will not work to prevent VK. KDB. So having a trained health professional such as a nurse who can give the doses or guide parents in how to provide doses correctly helps ensure that the oral vitamin K has the best chance of working. 